Here's a simplified version of how a modern digital camera works. Point the camera to subject, press the shutter, and an image is recorded by the camera. There are three critical components in this almost instantaneous process. The first is the lens aperture through which the reflected light enters the camera. The second is the shutter, which opens briefly to let the reflected light enter the camera. The third is the sensor, whose pixels record the intensity of the reflected light. Most photographers, and especially beginners, shoot in auto exposure mode. It's easy and produces good results most of the time, provided the subject's not moving. In auto mode, when you press the shutter, the camera auto focuses, measures the light, chooses an aperture and shutter speed, and makes the exposure all in a fraction of a second. DSLRs and most point-and-shoot cameras provide several alternatives to auto, one of which is program exposure mode. In program, the photographer chooses from several alternative icons representing the type of photograph to be made. For example, selecting the running man tells the camera you're about to make a sports action photo, so the camera chooses a faster shutter speed anticipating that you'd like to stop the motion. The moving cars and the carnival ride are examples of the sports action icon in program mode. To be more creative, you need to take more control. The next four images were created in shutter priority exposure mode, selected by dialing to TV for Canon or S for Nikon. In shutter priority, you select the shutter speed and the camera matches it to an appropriate aperture. The first two examples use fast shutter speeds, the next two use quite long shutter speeds. For the fourth shot, the shutter speed was 16 seconds which necessitated the use of a tripod. Using unusual shutter speeds adds impact to the photograph. The next four shots also use shutter priority but in addition required precise timing to increase their impact. They required considerable trial and error but the result justified the extra effort. The last four images were shot in aperture priority exposure mode, selected by dialing to AV for Canon or A for Nikon. In aperture priority, you choose the aperture and the camera matches it with an appropriate shutter speed. Larger aperture numbers produce the increased depth of field, which is critical for landscape photographs. These four images also use manual focus to place the point of sharpest focus about one-third of the way into the photograph. I hope this short program will encourage you to experiment with these alternate exposure methods and add additional creativity and impact to your photographs.